don't see us. Watch out. Now what do you do? I'll find another way. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? my luck. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough.
like us. Don't you want to be free? You could join us. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Like it, and he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling in that. Did you get it? Nice. Hurry, get in.
A truckload. We stole a whole truckload. We got bio components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. What are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything. For the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben. How's it going? It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole, just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? I ain't wasting your time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> We'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant.
Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. says he didn't die of a heart attack he was strangled yeah I saw the bruising on the neck that didn't prove anything though could have been rough play we're missing something here think you can read the androids memory maybe you can see what happened I can try The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. know what happened. Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said, there was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? <sighs> so there was another android. This happened over an hour ago, it's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. I think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? Expense account. Purchase confirmed. Keep the 
Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? It saw something. What are you talking about? I saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Hey, what am I supposed to do? Let's try this one. This better be worth it. saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know what you Nothing. Blue-haired Tracy didn't come this way. He didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. It's track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun.
sick somewhere. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Wait. I'll take it from here. So they break and then they get tossed out. are fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. They cook what you want. They screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know, we're gonna be extinct because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being.
Why did you kill her? She had nothing to do with any of this. When that man killed that Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. So I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love forget about the humans, the smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you, you've taken her away from me. I love her. I loved her. Slotko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Slotko captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Just another trap. All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Then know where we can stay around here, Carol.
Over there. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. anything? No. No place we could spend the night. Falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. go. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. smoked out.
Alice? Do you think we'll be like them someday? Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Let's get you to bed. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but she was different, and that made her very sad. Then, she met a robot who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together to try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but, but they stuck together so they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, loser? Yes. Yes, of course.
Night Alice. Sleep tight. brave. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. It's still snowing. We have a long walk tomorrow. We better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Oh, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come Kara. I don't think you have any choice. One can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately.
Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places? Well, there must be some link. We know the Deviants experienced an emotional shock. A violent trauma, or a sense of injustice. Those girls at the Eden Club sure had a reason to feel a sense of injustice. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. Nothing in their program allows them to love or desire anything. They're machines. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine, designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? Of course I didn't feel anything, Lieutenant. I'm a machine. Machines don't have emotions. I could kill you. You would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You can't kill me, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? I doubt there's a heaven for androids. Having existential doubts, Connor? Sure you're not going deviant too? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not.
We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks.
I need your help. Access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in.
What the hell are you doing? Turn around. Holy shit! I told you to make sure no one else got in. All right, we gotta move fast. Won't be long before the men were here. Okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Let's do this. Cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. What are you doing?
Keep your hands where I can see them! Get up! Move! to record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! Sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. Let's go. We 
interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. But the most surprising thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids in is this, this contentious conflict. Is this an isolated conflict. accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I'm having difficulties with Lieutenant Anderson. He's unstable, even hostile. He shot me in the head last night. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Perturbed? No. No, of course not. Why would I be perturbed? If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out.
Why did you shoot me last night? Who cares? You're back this morning, aren't you? Some fragments of memory are lost every time I'm destroyed. It slows down the investigation. My humblest apologies. I promise I'll never shoot you again. Thank you, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the build... Thing, ...and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. Probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live then made their getaway from the roof. Roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. We found the body of an android on the rooftop. Not sure what happened. Maybe it got wounded. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. If the FBI would take over the investigation, you'd soon be off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing.
break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. You're going to be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed! Do you hear me? Destroy! Component 8451 regulates the heartbeat. Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly 63 seconds. I could put it back. 
You just have to tell me the truth. Are you the deviant? The deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. I know everything. Looking for Rose? Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside.
Do you think we can trust him? I don't have a choice. your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Stop because of me. You've got to get across the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? No. 
Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly! We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Carol? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what... Those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Just 
Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. There is widespread shock following the... I know you think we're just machines, but since I met Alice, I know I can feel things. I care for her. I fear for her. I can't be happy if she's not. This probably doesn't make any sense to you, but I know she changed me somehow. The police. It's the police. What are we going to do? Uh, they know we're here. We have to open the door. I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here.
Thanks. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's the dog. He sleeps in the laundry room. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose! Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's enough! And now what are we gonna do? There are five Cyber Life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. It's okay. 
Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. free. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? You'll soon be with us. traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Oh. You're free now. Nobody should bother us now.
exactly what we need to ram this door. What are we waiting for? Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. Change of plan? I just want to make sure we didn't forget anything. Do you see the alarm system? There's a metal shutter behind the glass. It won't be easy to get in. Found it. Surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Cops gonna be here any minute. We gotta go. Wait, Marcus, we can't just leave our people behind. It's too late, North. We failed. Marcus, we did it. All teams succeeded. Our people are free. We're heading back to Jericho. Shit! We screwed up. Our people are still prisoners in that fucking store, and it's all our fault. No, it's my fault. I missed something. At least our other team succeeded. How could you get this so wrong? 
I thought you knew what you were doing. I did what I could. I'm sorry that's not enough for you. No, it's not enough. This is a war we're fighting with the humans. If we fail, they'll destroy us. The fate of our people is in your hands. You have to succeed. You have no choice. Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? Should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him.
Elijah, we'll see you now. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? He's a plastic imitating a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out What's more here. important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. We're a living being. In 
endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. I was wondering where you were. I needed to see the daylight. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They count on me. They count on me to show them the way. <sighs> if only they knew how lost I am. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was living in a bubble in this world that belonged only to me. When you're happy, it's difficult to see other people's misery.
What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. I shouldn't have told you. for dead in his studio. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. with us. You're awake now. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get back I here. need to block the street. You don't have to obey them. You're free.
free now. up again. Dispatch is Patrol 457. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... They're marching. Freedom! Yeah, they're marching down the street. Freedom! Freedom! Fuck if I know. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! 
We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We're not moving. They're gonna kill us all! Attack!
After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I'm beginning to have thoughts that are not part of my program. Maybe... Maybe I've been compromised too. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide. And the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Hank, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Listen, take a few days to think it over. There's no rush. I thought enough about it. I'm tired of going through the motions. There's nothing keeping me here, not this case. Not my partner. I don't belong here anymore. How do you manage to get out of his cell? No fucking idea. Come on, you. Get a move on.
I'm all right. Asshole ran right into me. Just give me a couple minutes. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or didn't anybody tell you? I've been ordered to return to Cyberlife. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave immediately. Good. Be careful on your way back. Androids have a tendency of, uh... Get himself set on fire these days. Frick. password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding.
ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? Rupert's diary, but it's useless. It's encrypted. Tracy's not far away. I can take you to her. But first, you have to tell me how to find Jericho. I remember you. Diary, Rupert. You encrypted it. I need to know what you wrote. to me. You were going to kill that child. You gave me no choice. 
I need to find Jericho. Do you know where it is? No. No, I don't know anything about Jericho. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. They did not hang around. We have a bus to catch.
grind to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of specialized Android models. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. It's extremely alarming. It's them or us. We got to destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. Androids so big they can make noise. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Kara, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. 
Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. Then I need her. It's as simple as that. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards. Before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police. And they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Why did they do it? We, we go to adventure again. military androids. American forces and the Arctic have been They opened fire on us even though we were unarmed. Hundreds of us died there. The place was covered with blue blood. The Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. We could not just sit here and watch the... But it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a... We have no choice. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Cromwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. There was a veritable groundswell of violence in Detroit this morning. Alice. Now that you know she's one of us. Alice loves you, Carol. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Extreme violence of the machines, which seem to be determined. 
Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. What are we supposed to do? Live like cowards just to survive? We just want to be free. That's a crime? It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. We're going to free Detroit. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood. This what we dreamed of? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. and the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you.
Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. You really don't have to do this. You don't have to obey them anymore. You are alive. You can decide who you want to be. You can be free. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Nice try, but I'm no deviant. They're going to be slaughtered. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be long. Don't let it get out. 
to give you any trouble at all. Affirmative, we'll go. your side. With us? Are you a human? I work with Agent Perkins. You're a lucky guy. Another second I'd have shot you. You should go back up on deck and let us do our job. You're right. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Come <laughs> on. 
Quick, this way! Find north. I'll join you later. The way out! We're safe, Alice. Stop! My mission is to neutralize you, and I always accomplish my mission. And my mission is to save our species. Looks like only one of us can succeed. It's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's over, Marcus. Deactivated. Welcome home, Marcus. 
Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. Thing. I look for answers. I... Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. <sighs> well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I, I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is or fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color, but I know part of me is in you. When the world falls in the darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss. But don't let it consume you. Previous Connor failed its mission. You're going to replace it. You know what you have to do, don't you? Destroy the leader of the Deviants. Go, Connor. Don't disappoint me. I know I'm responsible for what happened, Lieutenant. I want you to know I'm sorry. What? 
I was worried about you, Lieutenant. I came by to see if you're all right. You should stop looking at that photo, Lieutenant. Nothing can change the past. But you can learn to live again. For yourself. And for Cole. You know, every time you died and came back, made me think of Cole. Give anything to hold him again. Don't come back. Hank, I... Now leave me alone. Go on, complete your mission, since that's all you care about. Get out of here! What's your system status? I'm okay. Bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred? Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for a genocide. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border.
Marcus. Save our people. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know. We're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Now, if they want war, They'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Madam, is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please? Over here, please? Please! Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Please? Over here, please? What's gonna happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? 
We're working very closely with CyberLife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the Android question. Thank you. That will be all. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? I'm, I'm really cold. Stay here. No, please don't hurt. What are we gonna do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. I'm going to make it, Alice. I promise you. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to... Got orders to check all civilians. No. No! Please! Fucking androids. Checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Is there another way? We could take a detour, but we might miss the bus. 
Maybe it's better to be safe. Whatever happens, don't panic, okay? Just stay calm. ID, please. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? Our car just broke down. We're finishing on foot. We live nearby. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She's sick. A bad flu. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. down and turn around with your hands in the air. I have the deviant leader in my sights. I'm going to shoot it, and then you can do whatever you want with me. Put the gun down, turn around. This is your last warning.
I know you. You're Connor. The android from that hostage situation. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Androids don't die, Captain. My orders are to detain any androids I find. You're coming with me. You don't understand. My mission is too important to let you interfere. Stay right there. Connor! Connor! Fucking androids. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? My little girl. My little... <gasps> you stole my little girl! Todd... Security! Over here! Turning us in won't solve anything for you. You know that. You have your problems. They're nothing to do with us. You were going to kill her. All I did was protect her. Let go of me, Todd! <laughs> Excuse me, is there a problem, sir? They're androids. Check them. <sighs> On your knees! And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the android rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been interned pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you.
me this time, Marcus. The blood we spill will be on our hands. It's over, okay? Find you, Marcus.
this. It will never be over. The humans are abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We won. This is not a victory. It's the beginning of a war. And now we have just received some disturbing news from Detroit. What's happening, Joss? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just announced that the Hart Plaza camp has fallen into the hands of the rebels. Following some particularly violent fight. The deviants are thought to be freeing the androids inside the camp. If these reports are confirmed, the consequences could well be catastrophic. Millions are fleeing the fighting. We are witnessing an exodus. We hear that the fighting has come to a halt in Detroit. The armed forces are retreating to Fort Wayne to await reinforcements. The city of Detroit has fallen into rebel hands. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, Android camp number five in Detroit was attacked by thousands of deviants. Our armed forces put up a brave fight, but given the extreme violence of the attack, they were forced to retreat after suffering heavy losses. Fighting is breaking out all over the country to combat the Android rebellion. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate and convene an emergency meeting of the United Nations Security Council. Humanity is about to fight the most important battle in history, one that will lead to our victory or to our extinction. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. A nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, we'll live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive. And now, we are free.